Oh, there's an opportunity. At, well, this is the third time there's been an opportunity of a run out. Peterson has a direct hit. He tried an underarm throw once. Now he's in quickly. And England think this time they've got the man. That's a brilliant bit of work by Peterson. He's just caught the batsman three inches short. That's brilliant work. The man who can probably celebrate that as much as Peterson will be Richard Halsall, the England fielding coach. And that really looks like the only way that England were going to get a wicket run out. Finally, they've done it. They've got Tammy Mickball. 88 for one, and he's made a very enterprising 55. Gloved and out. Andrew Strauss takes the catch. So finally the short ball has done the trick and Stephen Finn has broken through. But it's been good resilience from Emerald Case. Well, Finn's in a good spell and he, he's actually bowled a couple of really good balls before he got Case out. And that ball caught him in two minds. He's going forward, then he comes back. And then he, when he comes back, he tries to play it over the slips. And it's too late. You can't change your mind at this game when fast bowlers are bowling. You'll be lucky to get away with it. And he didn't. It was a very simple catch. He's played nicely, though. Better than his previous performances in Test cricket. 43, giving Bangladesh a good start. 134 for two. Oh, I think they're appealing for something. Yeah, I thought so. I thought even here, it just sounded like a nick somehow. Yeah, he didn't want to go, did he, Siddiqui? Yeah, a bit of bounce there. He shouldn't have been playing that when you see the replay. It was short enough to get out of the way, and he took a long time to withdraw his bat. Absolutely right. He thought about leaving it, but the decision was too late. It just glanced almost off the face. Straight through to Matt Pryor. Simple catch for him, and that is a big breakthrough because Junaid Siddiqui has excellent concentration, can bat a long time, and he's gone for 58, 179 for three. Oh, that's worth a shout, but maybe going down. No, it isn't. Finn's got another one. No, I'm a little doubtful on that, but it doesn't matter. astrophil has gone because Finn's bowling very well. It's slightly Curtly Ambrose-ish the way he's bowling at the moment. High, over the top, good pace, straight. Did that do too much? Probably not. Very small man, Ashraful. Didn't get out of the blocks there. And though the slope does make the ball inclined towards the leg, We'll see from Hawkeye here if it would have hit leg stump and Hawkeye suggests maybe not. So perhaps the batsman a little unlucky, but a good bit of bowling and Ashraful's back in the hutch for four, 185 for four. Got him! Classic outswing bowling from James Anderson. Too much for Jarul Islam and it might have been too much for a few, a bit better than he is too. Is that the sure sign that Jimmy's going to get it back? Swinging it away from the right-hander. Swung a couple into the left-hander, which was good to see, but it's a beautiful delivery. Jimmy Anderson at his best. Really does move a long way. If you think of all the angles involved in that, it's a decent effort just to nick it by the batsman who fought gamely. 20 for Jarul, it's 191 for five. Oh, big outside edge and... Matthew Bryce pawned it onto Andrew Strauss. Good bowling by Jimmy Anderson. It's a bit of bounce here, not just the good ball uh, down the slope. You watch it bounce, and that's what does Pryor, the wicketkeeper. Done the batsman Shaki ball, but it hits the wicketkeeper. He's not ready for it. And luckily, Strauss palms it. Yeah, Anderson's had the conditions, but he's bowled a lot better today. He's got the ball swinging back in. That's just gone across the Bangladesh captain. Bangladesh, 221 for six. Yeah. Lovely stuff. What about it? You don't see too much better. We've talked about Glenn McGrath earlier. That's how he bowls. Well, this is a very full delivery, really is full. I mean, quite a surprise that he missed it. The weather's got quite dark again. I'm surprised the umpire stayed on, but when you watch, it's quite full, and he really gates himself. He's walking into it. I think that was a lovely pitched-up delivery with a bit of pace, but I don't think it did very much. And Raheem should be very disappointed with that. He made a nice 16, was a gritty performer, 
But it means now Bangladesh at 2.34 for seven. Well, there's the Yorker, slower ball. Slower ball Yorker when you see that again. Hit him on the pad and then cannoned on the stumps. Now that's sensible bowling. Real thinking bowling rather than just running up and bowling out swingers and in swingers. Well bowled, Jimmy Anderson. Yeah, absolutely. And clever enough to be able to not only bowl the slower ball, but get it absolutely spot on the stumps too. You can just see he's completely out of position, plays too early. In fact, actually cannoned off his pad. So a slight bit of luck for Anderson, but that was spot on thinking. And the dangerous Shadat has gone for 20. Now, f done it. Full and straight. What's more, it's Mamadullah. Jimmy Anderson. His best. Full and straight. A little bit of outshay, maybe. And missed it by a good few inches. Brave resistance from Mamadullah. It does look as if England will have the option to enforce the follow-on. Nine down now, Bangladesh, and still... Catch that, he does! Tim Bresnan picks up the final wicket. Alistair Cook is the safe pair of hands at third slip. Bangladesh are bowled out for 282. A solid catch by Alistair Cook. Good bowling by Timothy Bresnan, passing the drive. Back forward and all ready to take the catch. Right in the buckets. Now, will Andrew Strauss enforce the follow-on? It looks like that was an invitation to bat again, or rather an instruction. And across goes Andrew Strauss to confirm that Bangladesh will bat again. Still 223 behind England. 282 all out. It was good fun to watch Tamim at the top of the order, and we're going to get more of him in just a moment. 43 for Imral Case. In fact, lots of them contributed well. Nobody able to go on to the really substantial score to keep England at bay. Four for 78 for James Anderson. One for 76, Tim Bresnan. Four for 100 for Steve Finn. He really is quite a find, and nothing there for Graham Swan or Jonathan Trott, though I think Swan will pay a much bigger part in proceedings in this, the second innings.